<laughs> in our previous episode, we talked about preparing your presentation, and that goes, goes a long way to making sure that you do a confident presentation, because most people fear presenting in public. It is the number one anxiety and fear. So what I want to talk to you right, about right now is how you can overcome your fear of presentation. Firstly, and paradoxically, is that you need to acknowledge what you're actually afraid of. Is it judgment? Is it failing? Is it being tongue-tied? Is it not being able to answer the questions? Is it that you don't know the content? Now let me address the last one first. If you don't know the content, why are you presenting? See previous video on preparing. But if it's the other things, it's because you're running a movie in your mind about what might happen. What you need to do is run a movie in your mind about what should happen. So let's just stop thinking about presenting for a moment and start thinking about something you are confident about. Are you confident to boil an egg? Did you pull on your own trousers this morning or did mummy and daddy get you dressed? Now if you went, duh, of course I can boil an egg, duh, of course I can pull on my trousers, then that of course feeling is confidence. And when you feel confident about something, there's a, there's a breathing of confidence, there's a posture of confidence. There's a relaxation that comes with confidence. And when you're confident about something, you look out at the world through the eyes of confidence. So think about something you're confident to do, even if it's making instant noodles. Can you open the packet, put them in the pot, boil the pot, add the sauce? I mean, imagine if you were gonna be paid $1,000 to make me a bowl of instant noodles. Would you feel confident to do that? Would you get the thousand bucks? Of course you would. So notice that feeling, and I need you to capture that feeling. Notice what that feels like in your body the breathing, the muscle tension, the eyes, and even the little inner voice. Duh, I can do this. Of course I can do this. Because you've been talking since you were about 18 months old. And all we need to do is have this confidence that you can talk to a whole group of people. Imagine taking this confidence and carrying it with you to your next presentation. Capturing that confidence and making sure you have that before you walk in front of your audience. Monkey see, monkey like, monkey do. Bananamana.com. <coughs>